Bain giving you anything of value, whether it be money or information on your opponent, the, the right answer is no. And um, I've been consistent about that. I think Christopher Ray's statement is the correct statement. And I'm hoping some of my Democratic colleagues will take more seriously the fact that Christopher Steele was a foreign agent paid for by the Democratic Party to gather uh, dirt on Trump. A uh, document unverified used to get a warrant. That's why I'm so upset about that. Foreign influence in our elections is growing, not lessening, and we don't want to send a signal to encourage it. So that's why I think looking at the FISA process regarding the Steele dossier is important. What are the implications of hearing the President of the United States saying it's okay to accept foreign uh, ex uh, dirt from about a, an opponent. Yeah, I think it's a mistake. I think I think it's a mistake of law. I don't want to send a signal to encourage this. And I hope my Democrat colleagues will be equally offended by the fact that this actually did happen in 2016, where a foreign agent was paid for by a political party to gather opposition research. All, all those things are wrong. Are you, should there be legislation to make it expressly I, I, outlawed in this I, country? I think it already is, I think, but I'm, I'm willing to make it clear if we need to. The president also suggested that you guys, members of Congress, would do the exact same thing by accepting foreign information. Well, I can only speak for myself. <laughs> I've never had a government come up to me and say, hey, I'd like to help you in your campaign. Uh, the answer is no. It's got to be no. I mean, the, the likelihood of foreign interference is growing, not lessening. And, and again, you know, you've got a situation in 2016 that, you know, Don Jr. sat down and talked with somebody representing themselves to have information. And that was a mistake. Apparently, they didn't act on it. It's, it's not a crime to, to have a meeting. It's a crime to receive the information. And apparently, that didn't happen. But what did happen for sure, I know is that Christopher Steele was hired by Fusion GPS, who was paid by the, by the Democratic Party, and his dossier was uh, salacious and unverified to this day and used to get a warrant and maybe start a counterintelligence investigation. So I want to look at all of it, and I want us to come out of the 2016 election with some real bright lines that no party should be hiring foreign agents to look at their opponents, and, and we shouldn't be taking meetings. Has the president taken the wrong, has the president taken the wrong lessons from uh, Russian interference in the 2016 elections? Well, I think the, the, the president's statement with the Polish uh, uh, prime minister was the right statement, that, that we need to really be clear here, that we don't want parties to be hiring foreign agents, and we don't want to have meetings with representatives of foreign governments trying to help one campaign over the other. Have you spoken with the president about this in the past? Uh, yeah. And what did he say? Well, that is a first there, the first sitting Republican lawmaker to answer for the president's comments, saying he would accept foreign help, foreign interference, in effect, in a U.S. election. Senator Lindsey Graham saying in simple terms the answer should be no. CNN's Sarah Westwood is at the, at the White House. Sarah, of course, uh, you've covered this president for some time. Lindsey Graham, uh, very close to the president, often, most often comes out to support him, but breaking with the president here on this issue and, and becoming, well, the first sitting Republican lawmaker to do so. That's right, Jim. Senator Graham is a, a national security hawk. And really what we are talking about is a national security issue. Not only is it against election law to accept something of value like opposition research from a foreign national, but what the president is talking about really becomes an issue of election interference and of national security. Senator Lindsey Graham joining a chorus of Democrats who have been criticizing the president for his sort of remarkable admission that he would be open to accepting intelligence from a foreign national. The president said that he believes his own FBI director is wrong when it comes to the FBI director's uh, prescription that if a foreign national does approach a candidate, that candidate should alert the FBI. Let's take a listen to what the president did actually say. Should he have gone to the FBI when he got that email? Okay, let's put yourself in a position. You're a congressman. Somebody comes up and says, hey, I have information on your opponent. Do you call the FBI? I if don't it's think... coming from I'll Russia, tell you, what, you do. I've seen a lot of things over my life. I don't think in my whole life I've ever called the FBI. In my whole life. I don't, you don't call the FBI. You throw somebody out of your office. You do whatever Al you Al Gore got a stolen briefing book. He called the FBI. Well, that's different. A stolen briefing book. This isn't a stolen... This is somebody that said, we have information on your opponent. Oh, let me call the FBI. Give me a break. Life doesn't the work FBI that The FBI director says that's what should happen. The FBI director is wrong. 
Now, the president seemingly tried to clean this up via Twitter this morning, saying he talks with all kinds of foreign leaders. He mentioned the Queen of England, the Prime Minister of Ireland, and they talk about everything. So he says, should I have to call the FBI after every conversation that I had with a foreign national? Obviously, uh, there's a huge distinction there between a conversation and opposition research. And the president also suggested that ABC News somehow edited his answer deceptively. But you saw for yourself what the president said just there. He has downplayed Russian interference in the 2016 16 election in the past, obviously, but the president here, Jim, confirming his opponent's fears that in the future yeah. he might be open to accepting opposition research by just saying it outright in that interview. Well, he's also made up the, you know, the, the, the editing comment before you remember after the famous Helsinki moment standing next to the Russian president. He said that the transcript got his comments wrong, wrong when it was very clear what the president said there. Call it up. You can see the video. Sarah Westwood, thanks very much.